today I will be doing the introduction to our speech. I will be reading off my notes so I won't be in complete eye contact with you, but here we go. This is uh, our presentation on lead aprons. Hello everyone. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to listen to our presentation. We are currently dental hygiene students at the University of Cincinnati and today we will be discussing whether it is necessary to use a lead apron uh, when taking x-rays. My name is Megan, this is Stephanie, and this is Maddie. Here on our poster, we have presented many facts and graphs we have obtained throughout our research that we will refer to through this presentation. We have gathered information from three reliable sources that will be discussed today. I think we can all agree that when we take x-rays on our patients, there's immediate requests for a lead apron. However, new radiologists and medical professionals are changing their opinion as to if it is necessary. According to the New York Times article that we have got, prominent medical and scientific groups have stated that lead aprons are just feel-good measure and they often mess with the quality of tests and x-rays. Some hospitals have even stopped covering reproductive organs and fetuses during x-rays since there's no direct correlation to birth defects regarding radiation and or x-rays taken at a dental office. With all that being said, it will take major work to reassure medical professionals and the public of these facts. There are several options that vary patient to patient on the effects of radiation. Since 1950, covering the testicles and ovaries have been recommended when taking x-rays. This recommendation came from a study done with fruit flies, which prompted concern that radiation may damage human DNA and cause birth defects. Many patients don't know that lead aprons can often fault the clarity of an x-ray taken. Positioning these aprons are hard to do accurately and often cause the target area to be, that needs protection to be missed, so they would still be getting radiation regardless. They, uh, the lead aprons also cause the um, x-ray machine to work harder to get more radiation through the lead. They also don't protect from scatter radiation. This type of radiation can pierce through the patient's uncovered tissues. In April of 2019, the, F the Physicists Association recommended shielding to be continued from use. This was endorsed by many groups, including the American College of Radiation and the Image Gently Alliance. Around the same time, the FDA proposed removing the federal code that recommends shielding. Many hospitals want to stop shielding, but are worried about state regulations. Places such as Canada, Australia, and Britain have started endorsing this because of the amount and the rapid speed that may experience. The amount of needed for an x-ray is 1 20th of what it was in 1950. No measurable harm to ovaries and testicles of patients is shown in data, as well as no harm to fetuses at high radiation levels. 